One second. Hi. Uh, my presentation was a lot about Eli Wheatley. Uh, he was born on December 8, 1765, in Westboro, Massachusetts. And the highlights of his life really were the invention of uh, cotton gin and invention of interchangeable parts. So my thesis is Eli Whitney was influential to early 19th century in America because of his invention of cotton gin, which drastically improved American industry. And my roadmap is cotton gin, interchangeable parts, and modern relevance. So after graduating Yale in 1789, um, Whitney was sent to South Carolina plantation to work there. And what he observed is, uh, what was that it took a very, very long time for the slaves to separate the seeds from cotton properly. So he started thinking of a machine that would do that for them. Uh, and he came up with the cotton gin, shortly for cotton engine. And basically what they would do is that they would just put cotton in here, and then it would separate this, it would, it would clean the seeds and extract fiber for, for the slaves. And caught with, with cotton gin, cotton production increased in enormous amounts. And it also made slavery profitable. Why? Because since cotton is much easier to separate, you have extra production of cotton. And really, cotton uh, production grew by at least 50 times. Kind of more, more faster, more productive, more um, profitable. But you could do all that with the same amount of slaves. So you didn't, you didn't have to buy more slaves to extract, uh, extract cotton. You just had to buy more, make more machines. So slavery was profitable. You didn't have to make waste money for slaves. Also, because because all that cotton industry, uh, uh, cotton rice, was situated in, in New England South. First of all, New England South was expanded with cotton farms and cotton gins, and uh, farmers were really interested in making their own version of cotton gin. Because of that. England, which was a huge user of cotton, it was really attracted to uh, South America now because of their cotton industry. So that gave uh, good popularity to the South and America itself. So cotton gin enlightened new thinking for Eli Whitney. He said, what if we could make, instead of, instead of making one object, what if we could make thousand parts of that object and then put them all together so that we make thousand objects at a time? And, but then the question was quantity versus quality, because the work was done very fast, and obviously not all the parts would, uh, would, would fit. You would just force, force them to fit. And since the Industrial Revolution was on rise, people didn't care about quality, it was quantity. So interchangeable parts was the stimulant of uh, Industrial Revolution, making guns, uh, making 10,000 guns at a time, Matt, making Gatling guns like uh, Dr. Menane, making made an example. And also we could see the modern day production caused by the interchangeable parts, a car. Uh, factories that make cars, they don't make one car at a time, they make parts and then they put them all together. Next one. So to put it all together, uh, cotton gin and lights, new thinking, interchangeable parts, Interchangeable parts, basically, really shortly, in, uh, is driving the people to make factories, to make production centers. And all these production centers make planes, boats, cars, and anything that really has parts. Computers, tables, as we mentioned before. And that's it. Thank you.